That little bit of arrogance in the medical community, I think we could all live without. Like when you go to see the doctor, you don't see the actual doctor first. You must wait in the waiting room. There's no chance of not waiting. That's the name of the room. The doctors are all back there. Well, we can't take them now. We've already got this room. And you sit there, you pretend you're reading your little magazine, you're actually looking at the other people. And I wonder what he's got. That guy's a goner. <laughs> then they call you. You get very excited when they call you because you think now you're going to see the doctor. But you're not. Now you're going into the next smaller waiting room. Now you don't even have your magazine. Now you got your pants around your ankles. You're sitting on that butcher paper they pull out over the table. Sometimes I bring a pickle with me and I put it next to me right there on the table. I don't know. In case the doctor wants to fold the whole thing up for a to-go order. <laughs> get your pants off and get in there and I will tell you what I think. Doctors always want your pants off. Take your pants off. Doctor would like to see you with no pants. Just get them off. It's my head. I said take your pants off. But I hate the extra weight, so I start, maybe I'll start screwing around with some of his stuff, you know? Maybe I'll turn that thing up a little bit. Whatever the hell that does. Take all the tongue depressors out, lick them all, put them all back in. Yeah, two can play at this waiting game. Just once I'd like to say to the doctor, you know what, I'm not ready for you yet. Why don't you go back in your little office, I'll be in in a minute. And get your pants off. Then we'll see what's what. Why does a doctor need that little office for anyway? You know, his books, little stupid aquarium there. I guess he doesn't want people to see him looking stuff up. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was kind of gross. That wasn't the tube or the circle. Hi, a friend of mine is uh, going in for a nose job next week. Guy. Nose job. You know what the uh, technical term for a nose job is? Well, of course you do. It's New York, everybody. <laughs> Rhinoplasty. Rhino. <laughs> now, this guy is aware he has a bit of a problem. He's obviously sensitive about it. That's why he made the appointment. Do we need to compare him to a rhinoceros? When you go for a hair transplant, they don't say, we're going to perform a cue ballectomy on you, Mr. Johnson. We feel the chromedomia has advanced to a level we term skinheadia. Now, these are all medical terms that you don't need to understand. Of course, everybody wants to look their best. We're all out there. Everybody wants to look good, guys, gals, sexuality. I am a single guy, by the way. There are no other guys attached to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, too. But I do feel the need to see other people. I was, uh... I got engaged about uh, 10 or so years ago. Didn't want to get married. That was the only closest I got. Um, I can tell you this, if you're engaged and you don't want to get married, it's a little tense. <laughs> it's like you're on that first hill of the roller coaster, but you don't really want to go on the ride. You're just going click, 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 <laughs> click, 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 click. I was best man at a wedding one time. That was pretty good. Pretty good title, I thought, best man. I thought it was a bit much. I thought we'd have the groom and a pretty good man. That's more than enough. If I'm the best man, why is she marrying him? <laughs> Had to wear the tuxedo, which I'm convinced was invented by a woman. Well, they're all the same. We might as well dress them all the same. The tuxedo also functions as a wedding safety device for the bride. In case the groom chickens out, everybody could just take one step over and the ceremony continues. 
That's why they don't say, do you take Dave Williams to be your lawfully wedded husband? They say, do you take this man? <laughs> but men and women will never understand each other. We all know that. It's just not going to happen. Just forget it. I know I will not understand women. I know I will never be able to understand how a woman could take boiling hot wax, pour it on her upper thighs, rip the hair out by the root, and still be afraid of a spider. I'm not spending any more time working on that. And I know women don't understand men. I know there are women that are looking at me right now going, I wonder what goes on in that little brain of his. I bet you I could manipulate that brain. I bet you you could. <laughs> I bet you women would like to know what men are really thinking. The truth, the honest truth of what men are really thinking. Because I, I could tell you. Would you like to know? All right, I'll tell you. Nothing. We're not thinking anything. We're just walking around, looking around. This is the only natural inclination of man to just kind of check stuff out. We work because they force us to, but other than that, this is the really only thing we want to do. We like women, we want women, but that's pretty much as far as we've thought. That's why we're honking car horns, yelling from construction sites. These are the best ideas we've had so far. <laughs> honking the car horn amazes me. This has got to be just the last living brain cell in this guy's skull that comes up with this idea. I don't understand. It's so awful. She's on the street. He's in the car. Beep, beep. <laughs> I think I made my point. <laughs> what is she supposed to do? Kick off the heel, start running after the car? <laughs> Grab onto the bumper? <laughs> car comes to a stop. It's a good thing you honked. I had no idea how you felt. <laughs> Why do men behave in these ways? Why are we rude, obnoxious, getting drunk, falling down, peeling rubber, making kissing noises out the window? Why are we like this? I know what you ladies are thinking. No, no, not my guy. I'm working with him. He's coming along. No, he's not. He's not coming anywhere. We men know, no matter how poorly we behave, it seems we will somehow end up with women anyway. Look around this room. Look at all the men you see with lovely women. Do you think these are special men? Gifted men? One of a kind men? They're the same jerks and idiots that I'm talking about. <laughs> They're doing just fine. Men as an organization are getting more women than any other group working anywhere in the world today. <laughs> Wherever women are, we have men looking into the situation right now. We explored the earth looking for women. Even went to the moon just to see if there was any women there. That's why we brought that little car. Why would you bring a car unless there's some chance of going on a date? What the hell were they doing with a car on the goddamn moon? <laughs> You're on the moon already! Isn't that far enough? <laughs> there is no more male idea in the history of the universe than why don't we fly up to the moon and drive around? <laughs> that is the essence of male thinking right there.